Roger, to simply put it, Roger has a sadist desire to cause pain, which becomes more clear throughout the level novel. But where does his character lie on Lawrence Coburg's level of moral development and what level is he on Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs? Finally, how does William Goding want us to think about Roger? Chapter 1. Roger is described to keep to himself with an inner intensity of secrecy. From this quote, based on Coburg's levels, he seems to be pre-conventional because he's keeping to the right behaviors. For Maslow's hierarchy of needs, he's on the level of safety. In fact, Roger seems to almost always on the level of safety and only when he is not, it will be mentioned here. Goding's opinion seems to be that Roger feeling safe suggests voting, which is the right behavior in the best interest of himself and the group of boys. In chapter 2, Roger suggests making a bow and spinning the arrow when the boys are trying to make a fire. For Kohlberg's theory, he seems to have changed from pre-conventional level to conventional level and in the interpersonal relationship stage where he has a good boy attitude because he's offering a suggestion again to the boys. In another quote, he tells the boys that he has been watching the sea and that there were no signs of a ship, meaning they might never get rescued. Golden's opinion seems to be that Roger says things that motivate the boys on the island by grimly reminding them to focus on getting rescued and to start by having a fire. Roger's character really develops in, in chapter 4. He leads the way straight through Sandcastle's little kids, built, burying the flowers and scattering the chosen instruction. He also throws rocks around Henry. The only reason the rocks don't actually hit Henry is because of his old formality of society. In other words, he's afraid of punishment from adults if he throws rocks at a kid because that's what society has taught him. Roger is now strongly on the pre-conventional level when the grasp of society stops his arm from hitting Henry with rocks. Golding's opinion seems to be that without rules and civilization, some people aren't restrained and can eventually hurt others. In Chapter 6, Roger seems to be on the edge of post-conventional level on Kohlberg's theory because instead of helping to make fire, he shouts that there's plenty of time when Ralph was saying they needed smoke and Roger and the others were wasting time rolling rocks down the cliff. Golding's opinion seems to be that Roger sides with Jack wanting to hunt over the responsibility of making smoke and to ho in hopes of being rescued. This shows that his priorities changed now. It feels like he's enjoying the island without grown-ups around. In Chapter 7, Roger, in a way, tempts Jack to hunting. When they do catch the saw, he fights to get close to it with his spear. His Kohlberg's level seems to be pre-conventional because he makes behaviors that are in best interest for himself. On Maslow's pyramid, his needs seem to be met at the love slash belonging level because Jack and the hunters are sort of like his acquaintances now. Golding's opinion seems to be that Roger is becoming more like a henchman to Jack because he can't hunt alone as he relies on Jack to track down the pig. More light is shown on Roger's character in Chapter 8 when they kill the pig. He stabs the piglet and pushes his whole weight on the sow during the hunt. His Kohlberg's level seems to be pre-conventional because he is enjoying hurting the pig, which means he's making behaviors for self-interest. Maslow's hierarchy of human needs is met at the physiological level because he is killing the pig for food. Golding's opinion seems to be that Roger is a person that has no personal morals if there are no laws holding him in place. He hurts a piglet and doesn't try to kill the pig painlessly, instead causing her unnecessarily more pain before Jack cuts her throat. In chapter 9, Roger pretends to be the pig in the center of a circle, so his Kohlberg level seems to be unconventional, specifically in their interpersonal relationship stage because he plays the role of the pig, which is usually something done to keep the boy's spirits up. His Maslow's hierarchy of human need is met at the esteem level because he is confident that even if he was a pig, none of the boys would hurt him. Goding's opinion seems to be Roger is tempting the boys to hunt once again before joining them to kill Simon. Chapter 10 is when Roger finds out that Jack has tied Wilfred up for what appears to be no reason. Colbert's level seems to be post-conventional and on the social contract stage because he learns that even the chief doesn't value the rules of morality, so he probably begins to realize that the laws can be bent based on one's values. His Maslow's hierarchy of human needs seems to be at this level of self 
actualization because he has friendship, respect of others, and he is cre creativity. Assimilating the possibilities of irresponsible authority, Golding's opinion seems to be when Roger considers Jack's irresponsible authority. It is Roger's first step into the carefree world without morals and laws. Chapter 10 is also when Roger learns about this large rock. Chapter 11 is defined by Roger killing Piggy and crushing the conch with, quote, a sense of delirious abandonment when he leans on the level. He also says to Jack that that's not the way to get Sam and Eric to join them and advances upon them as a nameless authority. This abandonment and him possibly torturing Sam and Eric helps us see that his Kohlberg's level is post-conventional now because he realizes that law is dependent on one's values. His Maslow's hierarchy of human needs is met at this level of esteem because he probably feels an achievement in killing Piggy, and the respect from others he feels is probably from fear. Supported by the, quote, the hangman's horror clung around him, Golding's opinion seems to be that Roger's trill and sink of power is different from Jack, because Roger just likes to hurt people, not control or lead them. Chapter 12. Roger has sharpened a, a stick at both ends. He has no remorse for killing Piggy and instead is looking to kill him more. This time, Ralph is the victim. Kohlberg's levels seem to be post-conventional and on the social contract stage because he's hunting Ralph under his own throat and interest of hurting. His Maslow's hierarchy of human needs is met at this level of self-actualization because though what he did and is doing is immoral to us, to him it doesn't feel like he's doing anything wrong. Golden's final opinion of Roger seems to be that he's so savage, he seems barely capable of comprehending the rules of civilization so that on the island to world scale he's representing the brutality and bloodlust in the world. How does it feel to be less than a symbol compared to my glasses? Or conch.